One of the challenges that customers face today is integrating multiple systems into one simple user interface. With Bosch's new G-Series IDS panels and Bosch BVMS, we can now integrate these systems and do this, uh, making it much simpler, uh, lowering total cost of ownership, and, and just creating a better system for the end user. And Steve Pennington is going to show us some of that today um, with, and how this uh, works and what it actually looks like. What we're going to do today is show you a little bit about how to integrate the Bosch G-Series intrusion panel to the Bosch BVMS video management system. The system integration is fairly simple and allows the panel points and all the devices within the panel to be brought into BVMS when you connect the panel to the BVMS system. This is all handled through the BVMS configuration client, which is one of the two user inter interfaces to BVMS that's there. Just to give you a quick overview, if you look at the device tree within BVMS configuration client under the title other devices you'll see that the intrusion panel is shown as one of the devices that's brought in. This requires an optional license for BVMS, one per panel, and you can bring 20 or more panels into the system under one server. With this integration you can see that I have some flexibility in terms of all of the information that was programmed into the panel prior to me connecting to it is immediately uploaded into the configuration client and it shows us everything that was programmed into the panel including all of the input and output points as well as information about the card readers and things like that. Programming is pretty simple. Right now we're in that device tree. We can go over here to the events tab and what I did is I, I kind of took the liberty of clicking on, if you look at all the different things. So we bring them in, intrusion panel, you can get connection information, you can get panel area information, you can get intrusion panel point information, everything down to the individual point and the individual devices in the system. What I clicked on here was a fire alarm point, and I just clicked on the alarm functionality so this will tell us when an alarm occurs and you can see that there's a list of all the points that are in the panel that I brought into the system the next thing to do is I'll show you once you do the programming you what will happen with the user interface and how the points and areas can be shown in the system The BVMS software can be easily used as a graphic user interface panel that will show you the alarm points on maps as they appear on a floor plan so that when the panel goes into alarm, a user can easily see what's going on in his system. So you can see that under normal operation we can drag and drop cameras out onto the map. We can use icons from the map itself and drag them. We can e even get thumbnail views of what camera views are from the map. Second monitor can easily be controlled from either the map or the, or the device tree. So we can drag cameras from the device tree over to the other map. Or again, we can easily drag cameras from the map over to the, the other second monitor. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a pull station event. So if I show you on this floor plan, we're going to simulate that this event goes into alarm by pulling the pull station. What's going to happen in the user interface? A couple of things. You're going to notice that the icon changes state and has a little icon that shows up there that's an event. You'll also notice that in the workflow, there's a, an area down here where the alarm occurs. And if I double click on the workflow, it's going to send some predetermined information to the other screen. So it sends over what I've programmed earlier to call up. So I get to see the floor plan again. I can see that the icon has changed state. I double click, what I'm doing is double clicking on that. This is a PTZ camera. I do have normal control of that PTZ camera. I can zoom focus, pan tilt that around, but I had called up a specific camera that I wanted. And there's a fixed camera that I also called up and again, just double clicking on those allows that to happen. Once I see what I want to see and I'm ready to clear the alarm from BVMS, 
I simply click on the clear button. You'll notice that the, the screens all go back to what they had previously shown. I can double click on that so we have both screens. We can silence the event and you'll also notice that when we clear the event in BVMS and reset BVMS that the icon went back to its normal state. So that's how intrusion events or fire events are shown up in BVMS in the BVMS user interface using it as a graphic enunciator per se with the BVMS software.